Hey everyone and welcome back to another session of how to build in No Man's Sky. Today I would like to show you how to build the teleporter bridge. In case you are not aware of that, the limit of a teleport cable or any cable for that matter is 200U. Currently I have set up two teleport jumps that span a distance of 400U. If we step into this teleporter it will bring me over to the next one which is at a distance of 200U and then we step into this one which will bring us again another jump of 200U away. But I would prefer to avoid that step in the middle between the two teleporters. I want this to be one smooth movement. Now with the teleporter 2000 being broken with the Frontiers update and it doesn't seem like we will be fixing that one very soon, we do have another solution which is the teleporter bridge. So let's jump back to the beginning of the teleporter and let's start with placing the teleporter right here on this platform which will be the entry point of our teleporter bridge. So let us place the teleporter here. Let's uh, put the connector point to the right side. Let's now jump over to the other side. And we place another teleporter here. And again we place the teleporter with the connector to the right which will make it 180 degrees opposite from the one we placed on the other side. These will now both be our entry and our exit points. So let us now jump back to the center of the teleporters. And this is where the magic will happen. So let's begin with doing some reverse wire glitching. So let's go to the floor here and we will adjacency from the large floor to a small panel. On the outside we will now snap a live floor and make sure that we rotate it in such a way that the connector is pointing away from the glitching points we will be doing here. On the small panel we will now snap a short wall. We will use that short wall to do a reverse wire glitch and then pull that wire to the connector of that live floor. That will prepare for us a perfect guiding point which will make our wire straight. Now one more time we will have to go to the large floor, we snap it on the side here and we will do another reverse wire glitch. Once the reverse wire glitch is done and we have the wire, we just pull it over to the connector next to that small floor panel. This will be our center point and also we have a perfectly level wire and the connector is straight. So let's just snap a floor back here, the large floor. We go to a short or a long wall here and we do a reverse wire glitch from here and pull that one to the center point of the wire there. Now we can delete this wire so that it's not going to be in the way for the next one. And then we snap another wall here, do another reverse wire glitch and pull that wire also to the center. Now if I delete the floor you will see we have now a perfect wire and also the center point is perfectly in the center of the floor. This means we can just easily place that floor on top of it delete this one we can also delete all of this and here is where we will be glitching our teleporters on so the idea is to glitch two teleporters on the same point so let's select our short range teleporter and then toggle your wiring this is by pressing triangle on the controller and i think it's q on the mouse and keyboard now if we connect the wire to this connector and then we press l2 and r2 and on mouse, I think that's the scrolling up and scrolling down on the mouse, you will see that the connector is rotating. So let's toggle the wiring again so that we can reset our position and then when we go back to the wire, it will now be at the standard position. All right, let us glitch in our first teleporter by wire glitching it on this connector. Now, the first teleporter has been placed. We just go back to the connector once again and we just do one rotation like that and we do another wire glitch. And there we go, perfectly merged together. These will now serve as the relay station between our two teleporters. Now this is done, it is time to wire up everything with teleport cables. So let's go in the menu, select the teleport cable and connect it on that teleporter on the furthest side. As you can see on the other side, the teleporter is also pointed to the left. So we just want to make a straight line from one to the other. I also have my teleporters ready here so I don't need to walk all the way. I will just jump into teleporter and I will have my teleport cable still at hand. And just connect it to this teleporter. Okay, let's jump back and do the opposite side as well. We jump in this teleporter so we jump over to the other one, connect it to that one. And now we have connected all our teleporters together. The only thing remaining now is powering the whole thing up. 
switch to the power cable. I'm just going to pull a power cable over to this one right here. And let's just do that on each of these. Now the problem is going to be here. We're going to have to do a little bit more wiring here. So let's connect this to the floor wire so that we can just pull it over and we don't have the wire in the middle sticking out there. So let's just power up both of these teleporters. All right. And let's now jump back to the first one and do the same here. Go to the wire, pull the wire over and just I'm just going to do the same here. Let's just not go over that. And pull a wire like this over here. So in comparison, this was a jump like one, two times. Now I'm just going to go into this teleporter here and I'm ending up at the opposite side. And I didn't have to do any steps in between. Don't have to change teleporters. We just had one smooth jump, 400 U. You can do this continuously. You can extend this bridge the further you want to go. You will have to just keep on making these relay stations to keep on going in a distance. Keep in mind, you can only extend your base diameter to 2000 U. That means you cannot build beyond that point. That is the length of your teleporter bridge you can make. But you can of course combine two bases together, your friend's base and your base, then combine the teleport bridges. I might make a video about that in the future so that you can combine two bases and jump even longer distances. But this is definitely a fun little project if you want to do a quick jump from 400 U. It's also possible to use this up and down vertically. And once again, we have reached the end of another tutorial. I hope guys, this was a useful tutorial for you and you can be using this in your buildings and your projects. Be sure to keep an eye on more of the content coming soon. Also check the videos that are dropping on the screen right now. These are more tutorials on how to glitch and build in No Man's Sky. If you like this video, of course, press that thumbs up, show YouTube you liked what you saw. And I will see you again next time. This was Beeblebum. Goodbye for now. Hey everyone and welcome back to another session of how to build in No Man's Sky. Today I would like to show you how to... <laughs> no, kek. To watch the camera. Come on. Alright, again.